In 2019, an actor named Jesse Smollett falsely alleged a hate crime that was per perpetrated against him. He made a false re police report. He was inter interrogated by the police. And the story was he went out to get a Subway sandwich at 2 a.m. in the middle of Chicago in the winter. And on the public transit, he was attacked by two white assailants in MAGA hats. Mm -hmm. And at the time, he was on a show called Empire. Allegedly, the two attackers said, hey, are you that bundle of sticks N-word from Empire? <laughs> and they put a noose around his neck and doused him with bleach. And they said, this is MAGA country. <laughs> This was back in 2019. Uh, I think cancel culture was still alive back then. And somehow he really got the media to side with him at first. Somehow. He was, he was doing interviews with mainstream media outlets and they believed every word. But it was quickly found out he made up the entire freaking thing. And he hired two of his friends, his personal trainers, actually. Personal trainers, the Osendairo brothers. This. Yes. Yeah. They're uh, seen on camera buying the uh, buying the things needed so they could do this. There are a lot of hate crime hoaxes. This is not think a Bubba, rare think thing. Think Bubba Wallace with the the rope on the garage door that right. they said was a noose. Right. Um, look, we were kind of in this weird point of mass hysteria at the time, and <laughs> the media was ready to believe anything, mm -hmm. even if your better judgment in your common sense should sort, short circuit something like that right away and make you ask very, very rational questions like who <laughs> that acts that's worth any amount of money walks to Subway at two in the morning when it's minus 16 degrees out. Who goes to Subway at two in the morning anyway? Juicy small, yay. Um, I asked that question because I actually used to live by a 24 hour Subway and I don't think I ever saw anyone in there at two in the morning whenever I would drive by. It was just Jussie at 2 a.m. on the dot every ju night. Just Juicy. Yeah. Just, just Juicy. juicy. <laughs> and um, I, I, I kind of think of this topic. So what happened is this case was overturned on a Fifth Amendment violation because yes. after he cut a deal with the initial prosecutor, Kim Fox, uh, where she threw out the 16 felonies and gave him like 15 hours of community service, the public rightfully said, they spent millions of dollars getting the feds involved in this. I don't think that this is a fair outcome. It kind of reeks of special treatment. They hired a special prosecutor and he was then found guilty of charges of lying to the police, which carried a sentence of like, it was like a hundred days in jail. He spent like six days in jail, filed an appeal and they decided to let him out while the appeal was pending because there is a two-tier justice system if you are a celebrity we understand this and if you're a leftist celebrity yes mm -hmm. um goes without saying i just look i'm not surprised that this got overturned i more or less wanted to reflect on what the hell it was like in 2019 remember this was just before covid like, mm -hmm. this would have been just before COVID. And before really, George Floyd. Just before and... George Floyd, before all of that kicked into high gear. And I just remember it very succinctly because I was watching a lot of YouTube at the time. So I was following everybody talking about this. And I don't know. What, were you, what, what did you think when this initially happened? I don't really remember what my yeah. initial reaction was. I never believed it for a second, obviously, because no one knew the show that he was on. Why would there be two random Trump supporters who happened to recognize you from this show? That might Why would stretch they be the there? bounds of credibility even farther. How did they know that you were going to be on your way to Subway that why night? Why were they carrying a noose with them? Why were they, yeah, why were they supplied with a noose to tie around your neck as well as bleach to throw on your skin? None of it made sense from the very start. And I, I think that you're right people were just more credulous of these hate crime hoaxes back then yep now we it's, don't believe any of it and it's an especially infamous example because of the fact that he is a hollywood actor and believed himself so important mm -hmm. that people would actually buy 
he was recognized from this network television show on like BET or whatever. Like, I, I think there's an even less chance that I would go into Chicago at two in the morning and be recognized. It just betrays a very special form of narcissism that only an actor would have. Yeah. Even though actors aren't the only ones who create these hate crime hoaxes, they have an extra incentive to do so. Mm -hmm. Don't forget there's also the allegations that he, uh, you know, that he mailed um, dangerous substances to himself at his dressing room on Empire federal um, mail fraud charges. I don't know if that ever got filed either. The point was, it was pretty widely understood that he wanted a better contract negotiation for the show. And that really comes down to the crux of it. Every single one of these celebrities in Hollywood would gladly let the world burn if it meant they could make a little bit more money. Thank you. Okay. Jesse's attorney weighed in. He told TMZ this was not a prosecution based on facts. Rather, it was a vindictive persecution, and such a proceeding has no place in our criminal justice system. Ultimately, we're pleased that the rule of law was the big winner today. It's he said Jesse is very pleasantly surprised and ecstatic. I bet. Very, oh, God, it's just so disgusting. And this speaks to speaks to the the fact that, or something that I was saying on, on IRL the other day, the American people watch this stuff, right? They know this stuff. They yeah. know that this is a perversion of justice. They know that, that that statement was absolute BS. And it's just like, just like Solzhenitsyn said, they know that they're lying. Mm -hmm. They know that they know they're lying. And yet, they, and they know, they know, they know they're lying, and they still keep lying. Do yeah. they like, know everyone's that, that aware. we know they're lying? Yes, they know that, like, they know so that the American people, yeah, it's it's all about power, and they're just going to keep lying. Everyone knows that Jesse Smollier bs right? It was all crap. It was found to be BS, and they're letting him out because of who he is and what his opinions are. He has the correct political opinions, and so it's fine. You know, we don't really want to go ahead and process execute him and and actually you know have the have any kind of negative consequences happen to the poor guy's life it's terrible Remember, terrible terrible behavior this dude had the absolute temerity to like stand up in the courtroom and raise his oh yeah like he this. was raising his fist with yeah. the black power symbol yeah. in 2022 after everyone already knew that he was a faker yeah so really there's just no shame whatsoever he feels no shame about no shame. what he did he is a sociopath yes i mean a lot of these actors are yeah you know you kind of have it's kind of what we talked about when we said that if you want to be famous on social media you kind of got to be okay with people misrepresenting you and being misunderstood you kind of got to be okay with being an extreme narcissist if you want to get at if you want to renegotiate your next contract for empire you might have to commit a hate crime or a hate crime hoax or two uh, his lawyer also said he thinks the case was swayed by popular opinion, but prosecutions should be based on facts. The public wanted Jussie convicted and was not interested in reasonable doubts. He notes that celebrities and other well-known people face an uphill battle in court nowadays. Do they really? Yeah. Celebrities are actually the ones facing an uphill battle mm. in the criminal justice system. It's so... Tell gross. that to Alec Baldwin, yeah. anyone? It's so Kevin gross. Spacey, anyone? I you mean, could, really? You could make the claim that Johnny Depp faced an uphill battle. He had to work his way back into the Even public that, it, it was a civil suit. That yeah. changes things. Um, uh, yes, I do want to point out, somebody mentioned Mighty Ducks Forever. He will forever be known as the less cool Hall brother from the <laughs> original Mighty Ducks. Mm -hmm. Meaning that he wasn't... Um, Juicy Smollier? Yes. Oh. Yeah, he was in the original Mighty Ducks. He was um, the less cool brother who didn't get to be in the sequel. But he also is still getting work. This says uh, he actually did a, a show with Vivica Fox just this year. I mean, that doesn't surprise me that he's getting work. Uh, to Hollywood's uh, detriment or credit or whatever you want to say, you know, th they'll work with pretty much anyone if they can make some money off of it.
I mean, that's going to be the same situation for someone like Alec Baldwin or Kevin Spacey. They're still mm. getting work. They're fine. Yeah. There will be no consequences for these people. Yeah. Well, I mean, yes. the I guess the idea for them is like, look, that's the free market decides what uh, who gets work and who doesn't. And does their notoriety and skill set outweigh the negative press that comes from? No. I mean, that's the whole point. For of- Jussie, no. For Alec Baldwin and Kevin Spacey, mm. yes. Yeah. For Jussie Smollett, no. No, I, no. for a certain level of production, it does because they can get him at a cut rate now. I guess. He's not going to work at the same rate he was getting when he was on television every week. Uh, The uh, Illinois Supreme Court said we were aware that this case generated significant public interest and that many people were dissatisfied with the resolution of the original case and believed it to be unjust. Nevertheless, what would be more unjust than the resolution of any criminal case would be a holding from this court that the state was not bound to honor agreements upon which people have detrimentally relied. So... Basically, Jesse Smollett got a plea deal. He kept up his end of the deal. And By doing 15 hours of community service. That means, yeah. yeah, that means that he can't be retried and thrown in prison where he belongs. Actually, no, he doesn't belong in prison. He belongs in a mental institution for the rest of his life. I mean, <laughs> this guy is clearly off the wall insane. Insane. I, no, 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 no. I don't think he's insane. I no. think he's cold calculating and did exactly what he did for financial profit and benefit. A lot I, of people in prison are sociopaths. I don't think he's insane. They don't, they, they never mm-hmm. stop. You know this, right? Yeah, but they you don't put a just... sociopath in a mental institution. You put a sociopath in prison. Does it matter? I mean, yes, as long yes, as this it guy, absolutely does. As long as this guy mm-hmm. isn't free to engage Look, in the public most again. of hollywood is you, you could say that a lot of hollywood is like this you have to be it's one of the most uh hard to succeed in industries that there is and so if they're going to take any shortcut no matter how depraved it is morally they will do it i guess he decided that being gay and black wasn't enough for him to make his career happen go and re-listen to the Chappelle bit on it again if you're, Juicy if you're yeah, yeah yeah it was it was great so thanks for watching listen to full episodes of pop culture crisis on spotify keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show bye guys